My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is a very interesting tarp shelter system. This comes from a company known as Force Protector Gear. This company is well known for their deployment bags, which I have reviewed in the past. This is a tarp system. The company has this military version and they also have a civilian version. This is military surplus. I picked this up on eBay for like 80 bucks. What this is, is the force protector gear, military field blanket and tarp system. This is a multi-layer tarp. And in the center of this tarp is what the company calls thermoshield. Think of it as like a mylar blanket, an aluminum material. So you can use this product not only as a tarp, but you can use it as a blanket. You can wrap it around, it keeps you warm. You can use it as a way to reflect the sunlight so you can stay cool. According to Force Protector Gear, this is what you could do with this product. You can attach it to your vehicle, you can make a hide out of it, you can use it to keep warm by a fire, or you can use it to block out the sun. With it being such a sunny day, it's a great way to demonstrate the capabilities of this tarp. And I might as well show you all how I've come up with attaching this to the truck. I think it's pretty smart and I think you'll like it. What I'm going to do is unfold this and lay it out long ways. Next, I'm going to wipe off the truck where I want my suction cups to go. With suction cup anchors, the cleaner the truck is, the better they stick. With the suction cups in place, now it's time to attach some cordage to them. Generally, in my cordage bag, I have nine foot sections of 550 cord with a slip knot in the end. And that's so I could do this. Done, just like that. It's that simple. If there's one knot that I suggest that you master, it's a slip knot. It's super simple, ultra adaptable. You can use it for just about anything. Now my friends, I want you all to focus on the corners of this tarp. In each of the corners, you have quick fasteners. Check these out. These allow for a very quick attachment to the cordage. You don't have to use any knots, just simply wrap it around. I'm going to take this line and attach to that corner, that line attached to that corner. And I'm going to use those fasteners, which I just showed you. You can see there how I've wrapped this around. The cordage comes down, goes to this notch, goes in, goes around in that notch, then down, into the notch, over to this notch, and back around. And basically, it is tied off. It's not going anywhere. Whew. All right. Just like that, everyone, I have this set up. That was quick and easy. It really did not take that much time. Is it as fast as like an awning on your vehicle? No, there is some setup. But when comparing this to like a tarp, for an example, this is without a doubt much faster. When it comes to the materials for this tarp, the company doesn't quite state exactly what they are. They say that it features force protector gear, desert cloth, force protector gear reflect tech, and the clips are referred to as smart clips. The storage case is made from a 1000 denier, Kodora, and it features a YKK zipper. It features military grade snaps, hooks, and loop and thread. And there's a multicam version along with the Coyote Brown version. With the filled blanket, here are the dimensions. You're looking at 112 inches long by 72 inches wide. The total weight of this is three pounds, 10 ounces. And that includes the storage pouch. Speaking of the pouch, that is 10 and a half inches by seven inches, and it has a depth of two and a half inches. To be clear, everyone, when it comes to the fast clips, there are six of these. You have them not only in the corners, but also in the center of the tarp on the sides. And with these clips, they can be secured to the tarp. You can see here that there are these straps. They go around those clips and hold them into place. If I did my math correctly, there are 24 of these snaps surrounding the body. Every other one features a small hole right next to it, as you can see. These holes are so that you can use them with poles. And there are 12 of these holes surrounding this tarp. According to Force Protector Gear, the thermoshield material works like this. That is the middle layer within this tarp. It is used to basically reflect back the sun's heat. So underneath this tarp, you could experience a 20 to 40 degree difference than being outside in the sun. And I can tell you it does work. I've spent plenty of time underneath tarps in very sunny conditions, and you always feel that radiant heat coming through. That's not the case with this tarp. It is blocking it. With the tarp blocking radiant heat, something to keep in mind is that hot is hot. If you're in an environment that's hot, it's going to be hot no matter what. 
So while this is blocking radiant heat from coming through, it doesn't do anything as far as the temperature of the environment. With this product being designed primarily as a tarp to block the sun, there is something that I'm concerned about. There is a label on the other side of this tarp, and I will read it to you all. The Force Protector Gear Thermoshield Disclaimer, not intended to be used as a permanent cover. Product was designed to be an expedient and temporary shelter from the elements. As such, long-term exposure to the sun and other environmental conditions will eventually degrade the materials. Proper use and care of the product will extend the lifetime of the materials. It seems like a way for the company to back out of a repair. They could say that they don't have to repair a product, that it doesn't fall under the warranty because it degraded over time, even though they're using the product in the way that the company designed it. That does alarm me just a little bit. Something else that I have to mention that I don't like is the Force Protector Gears website because it is a confusing mess. To be clear, this is the military field blanket. The company also offers a civilian version, which they call the sunshade. The sunshade is designed more for being used with your vehicle than this is. As you can see here, I've got it to work with my vehicle, but the sunshade, that's the civilian version, it is specifically designed for your vehicle. And there's some nice touches there. For an example, over the hardware, you have covers, which basically block the hardware from coming into contact with the paint of your vehicle. That's a nice touch. The thing is this, the website is full of products that look just like this, both in military sections and also civilian sections of the website. And the company does not do a good job of explaining what the differences are between all of these products. Also, the company does not make it clear what Thermoshield does. There's links all over the website under these listings, but they don't work. I had to go digging around on their YouTube channel to find this information that I have with the snaps that surround this tarp that can be used to attach additional tarps. So you can make this as wide or as long as you want. And you really can come up with some very unique shelter systems. Now everyone, I wanna talk about my thoughts of this product so far. So far, I like this quite a bit, especially for the military surplus price. The retail price of this is right at $400. That is insanely expensive for what this is, and also the size of the product. I've been keeping an eye out for more of these because this is rather small. In my opinion, to have adequate protection, you really do need two of these, maybe even three. With three of these, you can set up one heck of a shelter system. One as is, it's somewhat limited. You have to consider the size, folks. This is nine feet, four inches long, and it is six feet wide. As far as a tarp goes or sun protection goes, that's not very long and it's not very wide. If this was a 10 by 10 tarp or maybe even a 12 by 10, that would make more sense. But as is, this is limited. This is small. Let me see what the price is of the civilian version. It too is very, very expensive. Force Protector Gear calls it the adapter shade panel and it is $344. So I'm looking at the website, and I, I mentioned before how confusing it is. So there's the adapter shade panel, there's the sweet spot vehicle kit, there's the adapter shade panel light, the force protective gear thermoshield, and that's only under one section of their website. In the end, everyone, I really do like this product but the price is extremely prohibitive. Considering the size of this and the fact that you would have to purchase at least two to have a suitable area of protection, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That is one reason why I went with the military version. The civilian version, while less expensive, is simply too expensive. Now, of course, that's my perspective. You may disagree. You may think that it's worth full price, but for myself, considering the size of this, even though it does perform very well, even though it's very unique, I can't say it's worth that retail price. Again, everyone, this is not my full review, but I'm just sharing my initial thoughts. So that's where I'm at right now. I have used this a handful of times. The most impressive feature, in my opinion, more than anything else, is the thermoshield, the way that it blocks radiant heat from coming through. It does work, and it works very well. But is it worth $400 for the military version, the full retail price? Is it worth $350 for the civilian version? Only you can answer that question, my friends. But for myself, I would say no. I should mention that the quality of this product is very good. The setup of this product is very easy. Overall, when it's stored, it's fairly compact, but it is slightly heavy. Those are all pros. Another con that I have for this product are the different layers of material. Again, you have the outside layer, the thermoshield, and then the other side. Because you have multiple layers of material, when you go to break this down, air will get trapped in between those layers. So it's somewhat of a balloon effect, as you can see here. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this? If anyone has one of these, share your thoughts and experiences with everyone else. A big thank you goes to Ty. He's the one who told me about this product, 
And he's also the guy who sent me the link to this for $80 on eBay. So thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. Before you leave, hit the like button because it does help the channel. You can also support the channel on YouTube or on Patreon. You can join the Wolf Pack. I'll see you all again soon. Strength and honor. Bye for now.